Yosef Tov. Uh, good evening. It's a little hard to speak after the, uh, the film we've just seen. Uh, but uh, to our, my dear friend uh, Dahlia and to Yuval and to their families and to former President Clinton who honors all of us uh, by returning to Israel to help us remember and all our distinguished guests, welcome. I want to share a word on behalf of President Obama, Vice President Biden, Secretary of State Kerry, and really on behalf of all Americans. I'm honored to be here with you tonight representing all of them uh, and to offer a few words of remembrance and praise as we uh, think about the legacy of Yitzhak Rabin. So much has been said and all of it's correct and our film just told us again about Yitzhak Rabin's legacy as a warrior fighting for his country's survival and security and as a statesman uh, trying to achieve peace through diplomacy. He was all of those things, a patriot uh, of the highest order committed both to security and to peace. But there's another legacy. No less than those things, he was a true and deep friend of the United States of America who worked throughout his lifetime to advance the close ties between our two countries. You can appreciate that anyone in my position uh, feels forever indebted, and I do, uh, to the outsized and enduring contributions that Yitzhak Rabin made in forging the alliance between our two nations, which still uh, gets stronger each and every year. It's really among the many reasons that so many Americans admired Yitzhak Rabin. Uh, it was his devotion not only to his own country, but his commitment to those special ties and to the strategic alliance uh, between our countries. It's truly, to this day, an extraordinary relationship forged during some of uh, the most tumultuous events that shaped the 20th century, and he was part of nearly all of them. As a statesman, Yitzhak Rabin understood that diplomacy is not about managing fate. Just like military strategy, at which he excelled, it's about action and initiative, and he took it. And our relationship would not be anything like what it is today without the action and initiative of Yitzhak Rabin. He led the Israel Defense Forces in the 1960s when the United States and Israel were just beginning to deepen our military relationship. And then after trading in his khakis for a suit and tie, he brilliantly represented Israel in Washington as the, as the ambassador. And by the time he left that post five years later, the relationship had been transformed unrecognizably. It had just simply grown by leaps and bounds and set on a trajectory that continues to grow. Rabin inherited a, what was then a close friendship, but he helped transform it into a budding alliance. And he did it in those days, uh, working closely and with great trust with President Nixon and Secretary of State Henry Kissinger. And then two decades later, in his second term as prime minister, he would again steer the relationship to new heights. This time, together with his great friend and partner, President William Jefferson Clinton. And as uh, we're reminded by the words on the film and as Noah taught us at the funeral when she spoke about her grandfather, Mr. President, I, I think I might be able to uh, summon your agreement that maybe even more than Yitzhak Rabin, the Prime Minister, and Yitzhak Rabin, the Peacemaker, you miss and we miss, all of us, our friend, Yitzhak Rabin. You'll hear directly from President Obama, uh, we continue to draw inspiration from Yitzhak Rabin. His legacy speaks to us still. Now, more than ever, we feel compelled to follow his lead by demonstrating that we oppose violence and terror and extremism of any kind. And we feel equally compelled to exhaust, uh, to heed his lessons to exhaust every opening and every possibility in the quest for peace. As President Obama said in Jerusalem on his last visit to Israel, and as Yitzhak Rabin demonstrated until he drew his last breath, peace is necessary, peace is just, and peace is possible. Rabin le medotano, kama chashuv, lishof la'atid tov yoter. ושעלינו 
יום-יום לעשות הכל ביכולתנו לקדם חזון משותף למען עתיד בטוח יותר ושלב יותר. יצחק רבין taught us the importance of striving for a better future and that we have an obligation each and every day to do everything in our power to advance that shared vision of a more secure and peaceful future for our children. And for this, above everything else, we remain forever in Yitzhak Rabin's debt. Thank you very much.